Welcome back to the present. If you're joining me for the first time, do me that good favor. Strike a like on the video. Very, very important to strike a like on the video. Subscribe. If you're not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Make sure you subscribe and make sure you turn on that notification bell. So we heard about the rumors of Saka nursing or carrying a minor Achilles injury. He has been carrying this since last season, unfortunately and is yet to go permanently. Like, let's be fair. Most sportsmen, competitive sportsmen, they are not, most of them are not pain-free, right? They carry a little bit of an injury here and there, and they can play with it most of the time, provided those injuries are not severe. So let's not get overly concerned. I get it when you hear a minor Achilles injury, everyone's like, oh, Saka is going to be out. No, Saka is fit as a fiddle. Let me show you this. Yesterday's training, this is Saka. He actually took uh, part in training. During the presser by Ateta for the match against Everton on Sunday, Ateta actually confirmed it that Saka is going to be fit. So we, there's no need for, it, for us to uh, be afraid whether Saka is going to miss out. He is going to be... Uh, let me show you a picture that some of you might not actually love. Look at this. We know... Some of you have seen this picture yesterday. They're like, why are they overloading Saka? Come on, don't break the young man's back. I get it. This is part of the rituals of training. Everybody's having a good time in training, a jolly good time. But come on, man. Come on. Let, let's take it easy. We don't want any injury to our key players. So, uh, let me see. On Saka, this is what Ateta said regarding the uh, him not saying that might not at least injury. He is fine. He trained normally today, so nothing to report. Every player has pain or issues. That's normal in elite sport, but nothing to worry about. Exactly. So there's nothing to worry about. Saka is going to be fine and fit as a fiddle for that match, barring no last-minute hiccup. Like, we know things can happen because this was the presser on Friday. Today, Saturday, we play on Sunday, barring no domestic issues or sleeping at the bathroom or any other minor thing. Saka should be ready to go and playing for us now against Everton. So they don't think, we know it's going, to be, it's going to be a physical game, right? Now, Ateta was asking the presser on whether we can match Everton in a physical battle. Sometimes you cannot avoid a battle. There are certain times where you have to do this and their style of play is very clear. They are simple, uh, they are simply good at that, right? Many we know everything are a physical team. Look at their players, especially in the midfield. Onana about six feet, very physical, very athletic. Uh Decore, even Goye is not six feet, but he's very fit and very athletic and very physical in the midfield. Look at their defenders, Tarkovsky, Kane. Those are physical specimen. Look at the forward, Beto, the new uh, forward they acquire. Calvin Lewin should be fit for this match. They are going to provide a lot of physicality. Now, Arsenal have some physical uh, players in, in our ranks too. We have like a Soliba, Gabriel, ready for a battle. I personally prefer to play uh, Tomiyasu instead of Ben White, but Ben White can still do a physical job. He can do a good job. But we need to make sure the advantage for us, for Arsenal fans, or for the Arsenal squad, in my opinion, is our physicality plus technical and superior ability. That is that, that's the, the advantage. We need to make sure we are quick with the ball. We are quicker, in my opinion, we are more athletic and we are more technical. But in terms of physicality, I think everything will shade it a little bit. So we need to make sure we take advantage of our superior technical ability, our superior score, and our superior player. Players like Jesus, Martinelli, and Saka, on a good day, even on an average day, are better and can actually skin the defensive uh, players of Everton. So that is where our strength lies. And we need to maximize our strength against Everton. Let's not take them for granted. We should not allow them to score fair. We need to make sure, I said it in my preview, we need to make sure... Now, certain things can happen in football, and we have to react. Let's not concede the first goal. If we don't concede the first goal we have the advantage. If you consider the first goal, we need to re respond as quick as possible to still have the advantage. I think we still have superior players, uh, superior technique, superior speed to actually outwit the physical and robust nature of Everton in this game. So let me let me read the, part, the other part of the statement, of the commentary as I made. Uh, 
we have a very different style. Uh, when you are trying to impose your way of playing and the tactic, it's about making sure that your opponent's strength are completely hiding and just come out every single time to fulfill the potential of your play. Uh, that's what I think both managers, both teams will try to do on Sunday. Exactly. Like I said there before this, we are superior technically. We are superior in terms of speed, even athleticism. Now, I think they shade it in terms of physicality, but our superior skills should triumph their physicality. So I'm expecting us to do what we have to do. So going back to the main topic, which is Saka. Saka is fit. There's no need to worry. There's no need to panic. I know the media was feeding it out there during the week. Oh, he's nothing. And at least injured since last season. Saka can still play. Like Ateta told us, elite sportsmen, in competitive sport, most people are not even paying free. Even in regular life, most of us are not paying free. I'm not saying we should be, be a lot of people are suffering from severe injuries. No, you're not totally paying free. There's a little niggle here and there. It is part of life and it's part of elite sport. So, guys, there's no need to panic. Saka is fit, barring no last minute hiccup. Like, there could be a last minute hiccup during the, uh, what would I call it? The what, what the warm up section, provided they don't pull anything during the warm up section. Saka is fit, providers don't have any domestic issue before the match. Saka should be fit as a fiddle and ready to play against Everton on Sunday. Go to my preview, check my catalog. I already preview to this match. Go watch it, leave your prediction there, or you can leave your prediction at the, uh, the comment section of this video. And guys, let me know what do you think. Do you think who actually comprehensive beat Everton this time after six years of struggling to get any kind of good result at Everton? Or do you think Everton might still do it? I think this time the voodoo will end. I think we have superior players, better players, and the players should be up for the challenge. Like, share, subscribe. Very important uh, to like the video. Do me that favor. Subscribe and then subscribe. And make sure you turn on your notification bell. And I'll be seeing you guys on the next one. Ciao.